Happy Tuesday, everyone. Kara Rice here with Brain Connects Therapy. So I often get asked, how can the answer always be primitive reflex integration? So um, my child has trouble reading. Oh, you need primitive reflexes. Or my child can't catch a ball. You need primitive reflexes. Or my child has behavior problems. You need primitive reflexes. Like how can this program be um, individualized for all these kiddos? And when we think about that, hold on one second, I'm looking at myself here. Okay. When, um, to answer that question is, this is how our brain works. This is how we grow is that we have this neurological foundation first that happens with primitive reflex integration, these automatic movements that are elicited by sensory stimulation. So you get sensory integration at the same time. They turn into, once they're integrated, they turn into postural reflexes and core strength. So now we're able to stand upright, something a lot of um, mammals cannot do, right? And that is um, a precursor to even having a cognitive cortical brain. And so now we're standing upright and we're able to move our body more independently. And then we get into skill development. So the next big thing is like these different skills, visual motor skills, um, attention skills, balance, coordination, um, cross body movements, crossing the midline, and eventually behavior. And then once these skills are developed, then at the highest level, we have executive function skills, things that are academic achievement, reading and writing and learning and um, all of those like problem solving, comprehension, organization, all of those skills that are kind of at the top of, uh, of your brain. So when we talk about a kiddo who is different, so one maybe can't read, another one can't catch a ball, another one has poor behavior, another one can't focus or have attention, those are all the skills. But prior to those skills, if you remember, we had the neurological foundation of primitive reflexes and then the postural reflexes and core strength. Then we have the skill development and then at the top is where we get our cortical cognitive thinking. So that's where um, in the skill development is where we're gonna see kids that are totally different. Like one might have this issue, one's gonna have this issue, but wherever they are, they still need that bottom layer, the neurological foundation completely solid and working strong for them so that skill development can occur. So many times that's where, that's why the answer is yes, you need to go back and check if your brain is balanced and your reflexes are integrated. Now, it might be that they are and then you're really just working on skill development. But if you work on skill development at the top, let's say you have dyslexia and you're just working on reading and you didn't check the reflexes and they did have unintegrated reflexes, you could practice and practice and practice and practice and maybe you would you would see benefits over time, little benefits, but it would be a struggle. If you just integrated that bottom, like got the nervous system, the brain, that foundation to work properly, then when you work the skill development, which you still have to do, it's gonna come a lot quicker. It's gonna just develop a lot faster like it should have developed. So that's, that's the biggest difference that we see is that a lot of therapies start with the skill or even the higher level stuff. Like if they're in school and they're having issues, they start up there um, and they forget about this bottom layer. And it's not that you're, you might still see some progress some gains, but you're not gonna see the wow, the like you're gonna be in therapy for years and years and years and years. And who wants to do that, right? With their kids, like who wants to spend all that time in um, waiting rooms and all that money for 18 plus years when you could just lay that foundation and then when you work on the skill development, it comes so much faster. So that's how, I hope that makes sense. That is how we can take child's, children that are totally different, some with diagnosis, most without a diagnosis, and see that they still need that bottom layer of a primitive reflex, integration, brain balance, postural and core strength, and then when we look at those areas that they're really lacking in, whether that's coordination or balance or reading and writing and all the different things, visual motor, that's when we see those skills developed so much quicker, so much faster. So let me know if you have any questions about that. And of course, we've got a fun fall special happening right now on our Primitive Reflex and Brain Integrations program, 15% off. Use the code back to school, all one word in caps. Thanks.